Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to set up um, the cameras from our company. Now, let's move to the unboxing part. The first thing we have here is the guidebook, as you can see it. The second one we have is the camera, the most important thing we need here. And then we have the mounting bracket. Other than that, we've got the power adapter, the set of screws, and finally the C cable. That is all what we have. Now we should move on to the next step, which is to download the app and to register a new user account. So we'll be plugging the C cable to the camera. And then we might have to wait around 30 to 40 seconds before the camera starts to rotate. As you can see, it has started rotating now. Wait, By the time you hear that sentence, we will be seeing the red light um, blinking here. If the red light is not blinking, then you might have to reset the camera. So how do we reset the camera? We first turn the camera upside down and then we'll be seeing a small dot here. I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys can see it here. But there you go, here. Um, and then you use the pin provided inside the package and just push the, the button here and the camera will be reset. So now we move to the platform. Platform name is NECHT Home. So we press on that and we will be entering the application user interface. We then press on the add button. So after that, we will be brought to the region. It is very important to make sure the region is set correctly. If the region is not accurate, you can go to change region and set it to the correct one. So once you're done, we move on to the next step. So now we entered the scan QR code interface. What we need to do now is to get our camera and have a look at the back. As you can see, the square here is the QR code. Now you use your phone and you scan the QR code to proceed on to the next step. So we press on next to proceed to the next step. The platform needs to connect to um, your camera. Simply press on join. Now it will be taking a few seconds. Now it's requesting us to check whether the indicator light is flashing red. Yes, as you can see on the video, it is. So once you've confirmed it, press on yes. And now you'll be brought to the Wi-Fi list. You will need to find your home Wi-Fi. I think it's here, this one. It is very important to make sure that you have inserted the right password. Press on OK. And we will move to the next interface here. So as you just heard now, there was a ding dong sound. So after the ding dong sound, you will see that the red light has turned green. It means that it's almost complete. And then on our platform, we will be brought to this final page, which is um, named the device. You can choose any name you'd like. For me, I will be choosing this. Press on done. And finally to OK. So this is the interface. It will be brought to you once you've completed all the setup.